Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to be showing you how I did my hair. I have natural curls and most of the time when you see me, I've usually either got my hair up or it's been smoothed out when I blow dry it or with a curling iron. Today, I'm not feeling that great, so I didn't wanna spend a whole lot of time on my hair and this is the fastest way for me to do my hair and still look presentable. So I'm gonna go through the products that I used. Very simple, I used two products. I used a blow dryer with a diffuser and my fingers and a few bobby pins just to pull it up, but it's very, very easy, and I'm gonna tell you why I do what I do. For those of you that are new here, I am a professional makeup artist and licensed hairstylist. I've had experience in the beauty industry for over 27 years, and I'm 51 years old, if that matters. I decided to create content to share whatever I know and to grow old with you guys and create a community of loving, supporting women. And so far it's working. I just love the women that I've met here so far. So if you wanna see how I got this look, Please keep on watching and don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and let's get on with the video. I'm not feeling that great, so I'm gonna show you how I do my hair really quickly. Today, I'm super lazy and I'm gonna diffuse it. So I'm gonna show you what I use. I actually did a little bit already. The first product I use is the Schwarzkopf BC Bonicure. This is the Hyaluronic Moisture Kick. And it's by phase, kind of like the Lancome or the L'Oreal um, makeup remover. So you have to shake it first and then lightly spray it on. I'll comb my fingers through it. I don't even touch a comb to my hair or a brush. And then I use the Moroccan Oil Curl Defining Cream. This is my favorite product for curly hair. It doesn't leave my hair with a hard cast over it. And I know that a lot of curly hair people really enjoy that, but for me, I find that my hair doesn't stay clean feeling for as long and it almost gives a little bit of a crunch to it. And what I find with this, if I don't use too much, then it actually stays soft and workable for a couple days afterwards. So I really enjoy that one. I'm gonna use my Dyson today. I've got the diffuser on it. You can use any diffuser, any blow dryer, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna put it on a higher heat, but a low speed. So generally what I do is I'll really work the front first and make sure that I kind of get it in the direction that I want it to go. Although curls have a mind of their own and who knows how this is gonna turn out. I might end up hating it and wearing it up, but at this point, I just want it dry and I just want it styled. So I'm not going to lie down with wet hair. Does anybody else suffer from piriformis syndrome? Has anyone heard of that before? It is so painful and I've dealt with it for the past couple summers and over the years. It is painful, so it hurts to sit, it hurts to walk, it hurts to stand. There's just no way that this feels good. So I haven't been filming the past couple of days because it kind of hurts to sit here. So I'm trying to figure it out, but anyway, that's why you haven't seen me as much. But I need to blow dry my hair anyway, so I figured I would film this part. Oh, by the way, I have cowlicks. And that's the frustrating part about my hair. You can see it's already happening. So I have a cowlick here and a cowlick here. I have a big sit happening in the middle of my forehead. Guys, I'm very yeah. real on here. I'm not gonna hide all this stuff from you. This is reality. And we have to normalize this. Just saying, it. we have to normalize it. Anyway, so I got a pimple on my forehead. The Dyson gets really hot. So I'm actually gonna put it on the second heat and then I'm gonna put it on low speed. And the low speed is to make sure that the hair doesn't go flying all over the place because you really just want it dry and you want the cuticle to stay put. If you blow it too hard and the cuticle starts splaying out, then you're gonna end up with frizzy hair and it's gonna take away from that shine. I'm gonna tilt my head like this and lift my curl into the diffuser. And I'm just gonna let it sit. And you can see how that's already giving volume up here. By the way, I have layers and layers will always help create more volume on top. If you have longer layers or if you have all one length hair, it's gonna be hard to get that curl up here and get the volume because hair has weight. So if you're looking for more volume and you're having a hard time getting it, a little bit of layering is always really good. I love layers. It's very rare as a hairstylist that I would cut hair all one solid length. I like the movement that layers create and especially when it comes to curl, it's really nice to have. When I'm diffusing my hair, I hope that you can see that there's no hair really moving. So it's a very gentle blow. It's a very gentle breeze. You get what I mean. It's a very gentle airflow. That's what it is.
The other reason why I'm not flipping my hair upside down right now is because if I forward and I blew out my hair, the front of my hair is going to actually be directed forward, if that makes sense. And I want it to go back off my face. So as I'm doing it, you can see that I'm tilted and I'm kind of going backwards. If my hair is touching my face, it really bothers me. It has to be a little bit or none at all. That's why I get the front done first. And then as I get towards the back and this is all styled the way I want to, then I can go to the back and not worry about it. The reason I'm putting my fingers in through my hair, kind of like a pick, is I want to grab it at the root and lift up. I want the roots to dry with volume, so if I just hold it there and I don't lift it up and let the air get underneath the hair, if that makes sense, underneath the sections, then it's not going to give me the volume that I want. The other thing to take note is I don't dry it completely, especially the ends. I don't mind if the roots are dry more, but I like a little bit of moisture left in the ends so that it can stay tight, I guess. If I dry it too much, it can tend to kind of, well, I guess look dry. And curls do better when they have a little bit of moisture. So there's no need for me to dry these excessively. Having them a little bit damp is fine. I just get comfortable with you guys. I'm literally sitting on my feet. <laughs> They're cold and my bum muscles hurt. Oh, I need help. I go for injections next week, I think, for my hips, so I'm hoping that that will help. Do you know what? I gave myself a haircut the other day and it's drying so much faster. I'm not meant to have really long hair. I feel so much better when it's like this length. Oh, I have hair extensions to try. I'm gonna do this in another video. I have hair extensions that I bought from Amazon that I wanna try and I think the color actually matches really well. I hope, but that'll be in another video, so stay tuned for that one. One thing that I struggle with is I have these cowlicks. If I fool around with these little devils too much, then I really run into problems. So I kind of, let's see if I can, the mirror is behind the camera. So yeah, I feel like if it's a little bit off to the side, that looks better. And I like that. I like the way they're sitting, so I think I'm not gonna fool with them. If anything, I might spray them with a little bit of hairspray. But since I'm not going anywhere, I don't think I'm gonna put any hairspray in. That is it. Let's see what it looks like from behind. That is the easiest way to style my hair. I should wear it curly more often. It would take me a lot less time to get ready. One other thing that I'll show you as well, and I don't wanna play with it too much, but if you, didn't get the volume here that you wanted, you could actually take a couple pieces like this and pin it. In fact, maybe I should do that. I actually showed it in a video a long time ago, but I reposted it today on Facebook and it's a really helpful trick. So if you wanna head over there and take a look of how I create volume with bobby pins, it's really easy to do and it gives a beautiful look. It kind of gives that romantic kind of, yeah, that it gives that romantic curl kind of like that and it gives that little bit of a lift. And I feel like I might like to do that now. This is it, I can't stop. Once I start, I can't stop. And then I'll be sorry because my butt will be even more sore. The beauty about doing this is I get it off my face even more. So I'm gonna take my hair, just a section, I'm just doing a loose section. And you can see the volume that that's giving me. And I'm gonna open up my pin like this. I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to grasp that area that I'm pinching, I'm putting it down and I'm pushing it forward. When you push it forward, it will lock it. Easy as that. So like this, same thing. In and push forward. And I can feel that that's nice and tight. If you feel like it's not tight enough, you can actually crisscross the two. I'll show you. So you can kind of cross them over this way and lock those in place. But it feels tight to me. I'm not worried about it falling out. I'm just gonna take another section like this. Really trying not to pull up my curl. I like the formation of the curl in that section. And push forward. And same thing here. 
and push forward. There. Next struggle will be not to pop this pimple. <laughs> I wanted to show you something. I've had this jumpsuit forever. I ordered it in the summer and I meant to show everybody. I ordered it from Amazon. I have a couple of the onesies from Free People and they are expensive and I am so hard on my clothes. I don't know what it is, but I am a mess. It doesn't matter how careful I am. A splash of food will get on there somewhere or even makeup. It doesn't have to be food. So I'm going to back up. Excuse my mic. I Look, it's a onesie. And it's a really good price. I love the color. I know you can't see me. <laughs> it's just as comfortable as the Free People and maybe a bit more actually because it fits me better. I ordered a medium from Free People and it's stretched out quite a bit and it's very long. So I feel like it looks a bit sloppy on me. If I were to order from Free People again, I would definitely order a small. And if you've seen my fashion videos before, you know I'm about a 10 or an eight. Right now I'm about an eight that fluctuates all the time. So this one is perfect. I ordered it in a size medium and I love it. It's great for hanging around the house. I love the color. It's perfect. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. That helps me so much. When you engage with my videos, it helps let other women see the videos as well. And I'd love to have a nice community of women who just want to be real on here and support each other and love each other, accept each other, you know, all the above. So like that video, hit the subscribe button before you leave, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos and I will see you later. Bye.